we are back with another video this one is a ptr one this is going to be showing you some stuff that's going to be coming to the live servers but first of all look at this i, I just logged in to the ptr and this is what my character is doing is this going to be the new stance every time you log in i hope so because it looks awesome the newest ptr build has changed things up in a major way now this is going to be coming to the live servers we're going to check in the classes here as you can see right now i am rank 12 on my range and i'm going to be ranking up the dragon slayer because that is the thing that has been changed the most so i'm going to be putting that on and now here are the ranks right here now it used to only go to rank 10 but like i said it's going all the way up to rank 100 so let's check these out at rank 15 you're going to be getting the boots at rank 20 you're getting the gloves rank 25 the belt rank 30 the helm rank 35 the cape rank 40 the shoulders rank 45 the armor and rank 50 the spear from 50 to 100 you're not going to be getting anything but at rank 100 you are going to be getting dragon slayer title and this is going to be an elite now right now they're actually not sure exactly what they're going to be calling it but it might be called something like the elite dragon slayer that doesn't really sound super impressive i would really like it to stand out we are going to be jumping through some of the Dragon Slayer ranks. I'm not sure if I'm going to get all the way up to level 50, but I will see. I am going to grab out my XP boost because I'm going to be wanting that. So there we go. Now I look more like a Dragon Slayer. So let's jump over to one of the fast training places. I'm actually not really sure where I want to go. Let me check out something in Battle. And I'm going to check over here. Maybe this will be a good spot to farm. So there we go, I got myself to rank 50. It actually didn't take very long. It was actually 15 minutes of grinding to get to level 15. But now that is because right now in the PTR, they have the Dragon Slayer, or I don't know if they do it for all classes, but I know for the Dragon Slayer, they have it unlocking at 10 times the amount. You're getting 10 times the amount of XP. Plus I put on a class boost, which you can see right down here. And that also helped. I don't even know how many tokens I had prior to the thing but of course what you can do once you have tokens because every single time you level up where you're not getting armor pieces you're getting tokens for the dragon slayer you can actually spend your tokens on class xp so now with 640 or let's just say i'm just going to go to 500 so at 500 xp if i can get to 500 come on seriously fine a 501 xp you're going to be getting 2000 so at 500 XP, I mean at 500 tokens, you're going to be getting 2000 XP. Every 100 tokens, you're going to be getting 400 XP, so you can do the math. But now I've gone ahead and unlocked all of those, so the next thing to do is to show you the Elite Armor Set. Let's check this out. So there we go, this is the Elite Armor Set. This looks bloody brilliant, I love this. The runes on the shoulders, I mean the runes on the entire armor set, just looks amazing. The spikes, the glowing eyes, everything about this just looks epic. I love the cape, it just looks great. Look at this weapon, such an awesome looking weapon. This is just an amazing looking set. Now let's do the math here. We have 13 different classes, actually, well, okay, the Alpha Pirate doesn't actually count towards the total rank so we're not going to count that one so we have 12 different classes you can get now that is of course including if you are a guardian so if you are a guardian and 12 different classes each class ranking to 100 meaning you could get 1200 
total rank. Currently, I'm at 176, but I could potentially get 1,200. That is a crazy number. Now, if you're not Guardian, you're going to be getting 1,100, which is still an amazing number. And I know there's some of you out there saying, why do we need to rank up to rank 100? Well, like I said in my last video, it literally, this is side content. This isn't something you need to do. Don't look at this as if this is something you have to grind. Look at it in the sense that this is something you can do on the side. While you're trying to farm for a rare item or while you're trying to farm for gold or you're just doing your regular quests, you're going to be ranking up whatever class it is that you're using. So you don't have to try to push yourself to get to rank 50 or to rank 100. Just take your time, enjoy the game. But the reason why something like this is a really good thing for the game is because for people like me, I have, I'm maxed in my thing, I'm maxed in all of my classes, I have most of the items I want in the game, I have plenty of gold, don't really need to farm for gold, and when you've done everything, there's really not a whole lot to do. So that's why this system is actually a really good idea. Another thing I want to show you guys is the auto attack has now changed. This is the new auto attack for Warrior. As you can see, it's doing multiple attacks in a single thing. I'm not pressing any buttons. I'm just clicking the button once and it's just doing multiple attacks. That is one of the new things that is going to be coming to the game. Really cool feature. Rogue has also been given the same treatment, so its auto attacks do multiple attacks. Let's check it out and see what it's like. Now, apparently its third attack on its auto does a poison damage as well, which is really nice because it makes the auto attack even more viable. I really love that idea and I really think they should apply that to all of the classes. Now back on the live servers, there's a huge change that just took place today and I really think this is a big deal, will definitely help people out. In the servers, you now have a new option for all of you in the EU. So if you're in North America, of course, you can just keep using these four servers up here. But if you're not, you are definitely going to want to go and check this server out. I'm sure that your latency is going to be a lot better. Speaking of servers, it is very possible that the black server might be disappearing as they want to shorten or well, they don't want to shorten, but they want to get people working together, which is, of course, a lot easier to do. Now, I really hope they keep the gold dragging around because I use that the most, but I can also understand why they would want to reduce servers and increase players in a single server. For the set of the day, I'm going with this one right here. I thought it was a really nice combo of white and black. The bow goes perfectly with the set and it's all topped off with the cat ears. I thought that was a perfect addition. And there we go. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.